We usually pay attention to diabetes. We do not pay attention to insulin resistance. Actually, insulin resistance is much more vital. If you look at it, you will find that because of this, you can grow a lot of diseases. A lot of problems will arise. One of the problems is diabetes. Suppose you have insulin resistance that is higher than 3. You are supposed to get the disease diabetes where insulin is trying hard to get your sugar into the cells but unfortunately as the cells are not that much responding to the overgrowth of uh, insulin uh, the insulin resistance starts. Suppose the latest research says that when you have not had food for kind of 10 to 12 hours, at, suppose you have taken your meal at 10 o'clock at night and the next morning after 10 o'clock if you measure the blood sugar, you will find maybe more than 4.72. It's not diabetes. It's not pre-diabetes either. But if you have fasting glucose level above 4.72, it means you have developed insulin resistance. Even when you have fasting glucose level that is up to 5.6, it's not pre-diabetes, right? But it's very important that you know, even when you do not have diabetes, insulin resistance is trying hard to uh, disturb your body. You may have no diabetes because after a long period of time of insulin resistance, you develop diabetes. So insulin resistance is much more important. To test insulin resistance, HOMA IR, homeostasis, the IR, insulin resistance, if you measure, if it is below 1, it's fine. If it is below 2, it's alright, but not that much good. And if it is below 3, it's not really good either. So if it is above 2, it means you are developing insulin resistance. If you have more than 3, then it means you have a strong insulin resistance so this is vital when you have developed insulin resistance your body cannot metabolize sugar in a very rapid way in an effective manner in an efficient manner so what you should do even young boys and girls they should have that uh, blood sugar level tested before they have breakfast it's important that you had your dinner at night and in the morning do not have anything before you have the test if you test and if you find that the blood glucose is less than 7 4.72 then you're fine and if it is 4.72 plus then it means you have developed insulin resistance so HOMA IR is the best method to get your insulin resistance tested, but it's expensive. You don't need to go to a hospital. All you have to have is a glucometer and you have to have it tested whether your glucometer is giving the right reading. If it does, then before you have any food in the morning, you have it tested and if it is within 4.72, then you are perfect. But the people who have uh, more than 4.72 do not get diabetes because you see, up to 4. Point, up to 5.6, there is no problem with diabetes, and if it is between 5.7 to 6. Point, uh, kind of 7, then you have pre-diabetes, and if it is above 7, then you have diabetes. And to get more confirmed, you have to have your blood test, blood glucose test, uh, before breakfast. And you have to have 75 grams of glucose. And then after two hours, you will again be tested. And this is how, if you have a reading like 11.1 or plus, it means you have definitely developed diabetes. If it is less than... 11.1 suppose 7 from 7 to 11 it means you are pre-diabetic and if it is less than 7 then probably you do not have diabetes the other test that's very vital to test your diabetes is HbA1c 
Your sugar is glycated with hemoglobin and it remains for kind of two to three months. And it is measured in terms of percentage. And the number is important here. If HbA1c taste is from suppose 4 to 5.6, then you have no problem. You are free from diabetes. And if it is five between 5.7 and 6.4, then you have developed pre-diabetes. It means you're going to get diabetes very soon. You have to be very careful so that you can get back to the normal level of blood glucose level. And if it is 6.5 or more, then it definitely tells that you are diabetic. One thing is also important because of some reason, some uh, one may have higher reading even when it is more than 6.5, you may not have diabetes. It is, right? It's because of the problem with the personal body, maybe the hemoglobin is less or more, there are factors. So you may have your machine overrated or underrated, it happens. So. What's most important is that insulin resistance is vital and to test whether you have insulin resistance you have to go to the test HOMA IR but it's expensive and it needs to, you have to go to hospital, you have to pay money but at home you can easily have it done. If you have the glucometer, your reading is correct, if your glucometer gives you correct reading then when you are fasting, you can measure your glucose level and if it is 4.72 or less than that, that is 85. So there are two ways it is measured, it may be 5.5 like that, maybe 85, maybe 100 like that. So if it is 4.72 or less, that is less than 85 then uh, your insulin resistance is almost normal there's no problem so to avoid HOMA IR you can go for it and at the same time one thing is very important if you are diabetic you should sometimes measure your blood glucose level before breaking the fast so that you can get an idea that your insulin resistance is higher or less high the other thing is also important, if you have fasting glucose level higher, it means there's something wrong with your liver. The, the problem with the liver can uh, elevate the glucose level even when you have not had food for 12 hours or so. So if fasting glucose level is higher than it should have been, it means there's something wrong with your liver. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.